Hi, this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials that cover the basics of Audio Mulch. If you're completely new to Audio Mulch, you might want to refer to the previous tutorials in this series. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the MetaSurface control interface. It's one of Audio Mulch's unique features, so you might not have come across anything like it before. It's especially great to use in live performance. So if you're a performer, you should check it out. The meta surface allows you to change several parameters at once with a single gesture. This is really useful seeing as a typical audio mulch patch can have a large number of parameters that you might want to control. I'm going to start by setting up a patch that I'll then control using the meta surface. I'm going to generate some noise, then process it. The Resay Filters contraption is a bank of bandpass filters with center frequencies that are continuously ascending or descending. You can learn more about it in the help file by clicking on the help button on the contraption's property editor window. Or have a play with these parameter sliders and listen to what it does to the sound. I'm going to add a flanger contraption into this patch to process the output from the resave filters. Now that I have a patch with a number of parameters to control, I'm going to set up the meta surface to control them simultaneously. To display the meta surface, click the meta surface button on the views toolbar. In the far right hand panel of the meta surface, you can see a complete listing of the parameters for all the contraptions I'm using in this patch. This panel lets you select which parameters you want to use the meta surface to control. If I wanted to, I could check all of the checkboxes and control every single parameter in the patch. But this time, I'm going to check all the parameters for my Resay Filters contraption and the Wet-Dry Mix parameter on my flanger. Controlling the Wet-Dry Mix lets me control how much of the effect will hear on the sound. Going back to the Resay Filters, I'm going to adjust the parameter settings to a state that I think sounds good. I'm also going to adjust the wet-dry mix parameter on the flanger. Now I'm going to save all these settings as a group of settings called a snapshot. To do this, I press the new snapshot button on the meta surface. This snapshot I've just created represents all the parameter settings in the patch as they currently are. Now I'm going to change the parameter settings once again to produce an output that sounds quite different. And now I'm taking another snapshot. And then I'm repeating the process one more time. You can pretty much create as many snapshots as you like. I'm going to stop at three though, so I can move on to the next step. I'm now going to drag the snapshots onto the interpolation surface of the meta surface. Then I'm going to press the interpolate button to go into interpolation mode. Now that I'm in interpolation mode, the cursor has turned into targeting crosshairs. I'm going to activate the surface now by clicking and holding down the mouse button. Listen to what happens when I drag between the snapshots. Notice that some of the parameter sliders on the contraption property windows are moving. It shows you how the parameters are smoothly interpolating between the three sets of parameter settings. Remember that only the Resay Filters parameters and the wet-dry mix on the flanger are being controlled by the meta surface. See how I can also directly jump from one point on the interpolation surface to another by just clicking somewhere else. 
To change the positions of my snapshots on the interpolation surface, I need to momentarily switch out of interpolation mode. I can also make the interpolation surface take up my whole screen by pressing the View Full Screen button. Press Escape to return to the normal view. So that was a basic introduction to using AudioMulch's Metasurface control interface. Be sure to check the AudioMulch website for other video tutorials.